Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at the dark secrets of Amish families. The Amish are a very small community that can be found across the USA. They're mostly in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. Amish people do not like modern society and wish for a world without technology. If you ever see a horse-drawn carriage on the road, chances are that's an Amish person driving it. Their stereotype is, they love God, read the Bible a lot, and obey all the laws. But are there some secrets that Amish families would rather you not know? Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. First off we have Puppy Mills. In case you don't know, Puppy Mills are pretty much dog farms. Well, Amish communities own 20% of all Puppy Mills in the USA. Puppy Mills are where most people get pet dogs from. Pet stores buy them in bulk for lots of money, and it's one of the main ways Amish communities make money. But these dogs are kept in terrible conditions. Some live in cages their entire lives. And every year, around 5 million dogs pass away in puppy mills. That's more than 10,000 dogs per day. These cages are often stacked 10 cages high. This means the dogs on the bottom row have a 90% chance of developing an eye or ear infection. Also, if a dog can no longer be bred or sold as a puppy, then they are taken out. That's right, they're removed Old Yeller style. The Amish consider puppies as livestock. This means they're not actually breaking any laws. Sometimes dogs even have their bark removed by a steel pipe being shoved down their throats. This is so they can keep more dogs without anyone knowing how many dogs they actually have on their farms. But most Amish puppy mills have hundreds or thousands of dogs. Next up is Graves. Amish funerals are slightly different from a traditional funeral. First off, it's not held in a church, it's held in the home of the person who's passed away. But the really weird thing is the graves. Amazingly, the graves are actually dug by hand. That's because the Amish do not believe in modern technology. This means it can sometimes take three days to dig a grave. They also build the coffins by hand, all done by the community. There are also no eulogies at this funeral. In fact, it's a much more low-key event than the funerals you or I would go to. That's because the Amish believe that when you pass away, your spirit leaves your body. Therefore, the only reason they have funerals is to praise God. They believe the person's spirit is no longer even in that body, so the body's not that important. Next up is education. The Amish do not go to regular middle schools or high schools. Instead, they go to special Amish schools in their own communities. Their schools are often very small with one or two rooms. Most people's life plan is to do well in school, do well in college, and then get a good job. But if you're Amish, then you're pretty much destined to become a farmer or craftsman. So you don't actually need any formal college education. And that is why the Amish only do schooling up to the 8th grade. That's right, after grade 8, you're done with school if you're Amish. Some people criticise this, saying that the children don't have all the opportunities other kids have in life. There's also religious reasons as to why the Amish stop schooling at grade 8. They believe that higher education may threaten their religious values. Basically, the reason why they have such bad schooling is because of practicality. It leaves the kids with pretty much no life skills at all. This means they have to stay in the Amish community, as if they left, they wouldn't be able to get any work. Next up is inbreeding. In the 18th century, the Amish religion was founded with around 200 people. But today in the USA, there's around a quarter million Amish people. Obviously, 200 people don't easily make 250,000 people just like that. This means in the Amish community, there is a lot of inbreeding. This causes a higher than average rate of genetic disorders. The Amish also have a higher infant mortality rate too. Before marriage, the Amish do not take any genetic tests to see if they're related. This means if these couples have children, they may have deformities or genetic disorders. You may think, why don't they just do the test to check if they're related? Well, it's all because the Amish do not like modern technology, and that includes biological testing. They don't actually mind if this happens to their kids, as they simply say it's God's while. This roughly translates to God's will, meaning stuff happens. Next up is cover-ups. The Amish live in their own community and reject the outside world. And because of this, they do have different laws. For example, animal treatment laws. Instead, the Amish carry out their own kind of legal system. But one part of Amish life is to never report crimes to authorities. 
Well, one day something amazing was found out after a man named David Yoda left his Amish community. After he left, he confessed his sister had murdered his niece. But apparently it had been covered up by the community. Another man named Chris was also found out for doing some terrible things I can't even speak about. He was arrested by the authorities after an anonymous tip-off. But his family were actually more interested in covering up the crime. Next up is animal treatment. So we already know from the puppy mills that the Amish do not treat animals very well. But sadly their bad treatment of animals does not stop with puppy mills. The Amish get around using horses instead of cars. And they actually view horses as farming equipment, not animals. The horses that pull their carriages are often very underweight. They're left standing all day long and have to work very hard. And when they grow too old, or if they're not performing well enough, then they're taken out. And if one of their dogs gets ill, then they simply take them out too. That's because they don't want to pay for medical care. Some say dogs are a man's best friend, but not when it comes to Amish men. Next up is pollution. You may think Amish people release no pollution into the atmosphere whatsoever. After all, they're very simple farmers who don't even like using electricity. Well, the Amish own around 5,000 farms in Pennsylvania alone. And on those farms, they release an amazing amount of fertilizer. This fertilizer then flows into the Chesapeake Bay, which is a body of water between Maryland and Virginia. The Amish do not follow pollution rules like other people. There have been various efforts by the Environmental Protection Agency to try and stop them using so much fertilizer, but apparently the Amish farmers take it as an insult. However, this amount of fertilizer has created some black zones in the bay. These are areas where oxygen levels are so low they can't support any life. So even though Amish people don't have cars or things which cause pollution for normal people, they do release a lot of pollution in different ways. Next up is Mexico over America. It's pretty obvious that Amish people do not like the USA. The USA is very modern and they do not like this. But one country the Amish do like is Mexico. You may be saying Mexico is just as modern as America, so why do they like it? Well, many years ago, Mexico had large plots of land which were untouched. Mexico also has no military draft. And they also like the cost-effective medical care in Mexico. That's because the Amish do not have health insurance in America. But strangely, another thing the Amish love about Mexico is their food. It's now very common for Amish families to have tortillas, salsa, and tacos. Check out the poll to vote for the most odd thing about Amish families. In my opinion, it's the puppy mills, as I think those are really, really bad. If you guys want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.